Hi, this is James Van Prague, and I'm here today with you, Spirit Moments, with my dog Boo Boo. This is Boo Radley, named after To Kill a Mockingbird, the character in To Kill a Mockingbird. And um, I've had a lot of people ask me questions about animal, animals, souls of animals, do animals go to heaven, do animals have souls, and what is their part in this uh, evolution. And I can just tell you that animals are incredible healers, amazing, amazing healers. They are here to teach us, humans, unconditional love. Um, you know, you, you kick a dog, what happens, they come back and they lick your face. Uh, they're incredible, incredible beings of light who are trying to remind us of our source, which is pure love, pure love and light. And uh, you can never get better healing than an animal. They really do. Um, people also ask me, can the soul of a human be the soul of an animal, or is it a different kingdom altogether? When I first started doing my work over 30 years ago, I did believe that the human soul is separate from the animal soul. But I don't necessarily believe that anymore. Because I don't want to limit the soul. I think the soul encompasses many, many things. I think in some respects the soul is like water. It takes on not only the human condition, but they're also part of the animal condition. They're also part of, part of all, if you will. So why can't a human soul be part of that animal soul? Why can't we experience what an animal experience? Remember, all the soul is about is experience. So sometimes when I come back as a, as a dog, as a cat, I don't see why that's so far-fetched. Um, I think maybe, yes, I know. I know, with kisses. Ooh. Maybe we're in our limited minds. We tend to separate things. It makes it easier for us to comprehend. But I do believe we are part of all, uh, of everything. And there's no reason why part of me right now isn't part of this animal, part of another animal, part of another animal. So, hard to comprehend this level, this three-dimensional world. There's so much here that's limiting. But animals are true, true teachers. And uh, the funny thing is, you know, people have asked me, when I die, will I see my animals? Definitely. They come to greet you. They help you over to the side. Many, many times they're brought through horses, dogs, cats, fish, birds, um, who belong to members of the audience. And their animal is just waiting right for them. And uh, it's pretty incredible, pretty incredible. Right after the animal passes, um, they tend to also come back to you in spirit form. And many times they will go back to the same places that they used to visit, like uh, the end of your bed, or they might go to their favorite chair. I once did a reading for a lady, and her dog came through, and he was upset. Now this is funny, because the dog was upset. Well, how can a dog be upset? Well, it was a little upset because the lady, the dog told me through thought that this lady had uh, just bought a new puppy and that the puppy was using the dead dog's bowl. And she confirmed that. She goes, yes, it is. I said, well, your other dog that mentioned that that was his bowl and he wants it reserved for himself. And she said, his personality was very much like that. He used to control everything, the dog. So just change the bowl, it'll be easier. So, give love to your animal friends, thank them, appreciate them, uh, be responsible with animals, help them, because uh, they need our help too, you know. They are living, breathing beings, and we need to do that to make sure their lives are quality lives. So, kiss your animals, and I'll leave you with that today. Until next time. Good